I feel like you can get your energy out different ways. Um, you have arts and crafts, um, pottery, growing vegetables, stuff like that. Oh my god! Man. See, I need a soundboard here. <laughs> that's that BS, man. That's that BS. <laughs> Kelly does not want no dude that's sitting there in some flip flop sandals on his knees planting tomatoes. Okay, I do. No, no, but no. You I like do. those guys, but you don't want that's those a, guys. <laughs> I need a soundboard. We need... Now, would you have your kid fight? Get into boxing? No, no, thank you. Why not? It teaches discipline. It teaches discipline. Yeah, I, I would want him to do it for uh, just for some exercise, but not for not for get paid. And, and I don't want nobody hit. I don't want nobody be hitting him upside his head. Kelly. Yes. If you were to have a child, would you want them to get into boxing? No. Why? Because it promotes violence. It does not promote. <laughs> Well, actually, we met some people yesterday who went to the fight, and a whole bunch of different fights broke, broke out. out. Yes, and it's because of the energy. Mm -hmm. Period. The women was fighting. Women were fighting. The women also was fighting too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I, the, I'm the pretty wise, The wise. Are oh, you talking about the last one, the tank fight? No, just last night. Last night. Yeah, yeah. Last I, yeah night. I'm, I'm pretty. I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure it's some people's sisters because I fight? know. Who. Um, the other Terrence, fight. Got got the, big one, cause the big one's tonight. Yeah, but there was another fight yesterday, okay. and people started breaking out into mm -hmm. fights. So what do you think about the physical energy of football or rugby or any of those other physical sports like hockey? I feel like you can get your energy out different ways. Um, you have arts and crafts, um, pottery, growing vegetables, stuff like that. Oh my God! Man. See, I need a soundboard here. <laughs> that's that BS, man. That's that BS. <laughs> Kelly does not want no dude that's sitting there in some flip flop sandals on his knees planting tomatoes. Okay. I do. No, no, but no. I you do. like those guys, but you don't want that's those a, guys. <laughs> I need a soundboard. We, I need to hook up, find a soundboard. <laughs> 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 I can see. So, so what? Uh, so you don't want them, but your your son is actually getting into uh, Andrea. Your son is getting into football. football. Mm -hmm. This is his first season. So, what's the difference between? He just right now. He just because um, you know he's gonna fight on that field, right? Well, yeah, he gonna have to. He gonna have to um, take a hit and man up. Remember, football is a game of inches, right. and you have to fight for those inches. Mm -hmm. And it's, I think it's going to be good with boys his age. He can take it aggressive when he needs it. And, you know, he's already, you know, I, I see I see a change in him. He's already having conversations with children who are saying he's Mexican and black. I'm, I'm black. And people are saying I wasn't his mother. And he's already having conversations how to defend himself. Even when it came down to his brother, the kids was like, your brother is black and y'all have the same mama. And so he was like, I'm adopted, but I'm still half black and Mexican. So he's having, I, I'm seeing the growth of football because he's having conversations that I don't think we talk about at home like that. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's, I mean, that's what, that's what sports does, especially mm -hmm. with young men is, is when you, you're, you're with your own kind, you're pushing each other, mm -hmm. you're socializing mm -hmm. in a stressful environment and learning how to deal with the pressures of a of just life, yeah. and not only that, sacrificing for other people to be able to accomplish a common goal. And it teaches him discipline. Yeah. He got to be on time. He got to get his uniform. It's teaching him all of that, and it's teaching him he's growing up. He's nine years old now. It's teaching him that, um, you know, I'm not going to always be around him, and so he needs to speak up for himself. So, Kelly, can you learn that in pottery? You can. You have to learn <laughs> patience and, oh, Lord. you know Exactly, <laughs> but but a child, a boy child, need that lion to come out of him. Yeah. Because if he don't, if he don't, he's always gonna be a prey to somebody else. Right. I believe in protecting yourself. I believe in teaching your child to you know not be a doormat and stick but, up for themselves. But how do he learn that if he's always around you? And and not men. If he, wait, wait, wait. He mm -hmm. will be around men. It's not all 
people are single. We can't. Yes, that's true. I agree with that. But what what if you were a single mom and he's always oh, around you? Oh, you going to put the single mom I'm just on being that. honest. Just being honest. It's the truth. He needs a lion. He needs that roar. I agree. I agree. The thing is, in terms of being a man within modern society, classic society, historically, we've had to understand how to engage that lion within ourselves. We don't have to unleash it. We don't have mm-hmm. to unleash it regularly, mm-hmm. but we have to be prepared to wield it, almost like break in case, break glass in case of emergency. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, if you ain't never had a fight, more than likely you may not know how to fight. Right. You understand? And if you ever saw the movie 300, you know, they send them out, send the kids out into the wilderness. And, you know, some of them don't make it and some make it back with a beast slaughtered that they carry in on their back. Sometimes that's part of the physicality is part of what I would call the rites of passage of men. Because how will you be able to protect if you don't know how to protect? And real quickly, before we continue, um, I remember you guys asked me if there was any treats or uh, snacks. Uh, there will not. Um, but shout out to everybody in the chat. Uh, right. Sh- Chicago Rilla is in the chat. Danique. Danny K is in it. That's Danny K. I, I butchered his name for months. Right. <laughs> I butchered He thought it was French. I thought it was but shout out to the uh, Grey Pill Podcast also in the building. Angelus. What it do, Big Dog? Oh, that's Angelus? That's his real name? Yeah. I always call him Grey Pill. Yeah, you must be in a you must be in a group chat with him. Yeah, he he blocked you from the chat. Because <laughs> <laughs> you wasn't saying his name right. <laughs> but you know, don't you think about your daughter E Black? You know, you would put her in things that she can, you know, flourish. And piano, a feminist side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that, that's interesting because mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't think. I think the stressfulness of and the competitiveness of dance mm-hmm. and possibly you know some rigorous mental training mm-hmm. and piano. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would like to get her into to some more team stuff, but I don't think fighting is a, you know the. Mm-hmm. Um, a woman can lose every fight. That she ever had, and right. nobody could care. Right. Uh, whereas a guy, you know, we're 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 wholly ju- uh, judged on that. Not only that, uh, society puts that on us. So you know, sometimes you gotta. It is it is what it is. You know. Mm-hmm. Well, I think one thing that we're not really looking at, be fighting and things like that, is communication and being able to have communication, be able to talk, be able to express your words. You can protect yourself with your words way more than you can with your hands. Because last night, there was this really crazy guy. I mean, sorry to say that, but he had mental problems. Andre was sitting right there. Mm-hmm. And he could have attacked me. And actually, I thought he was going to kind of attack me because he was like, you're going to let me walk away. I mean, he was just like, you could tell something wasn't right with him. But, you know, I was able to stay calm, um, talk to him respectfully. And kind of get him down because every time I said something, it would like trigger him. Right. And we had a man, we, we had a man with us who didn't even pick up on the signs that we were in danger. Wait, so, wait, wait. Who are you pointing at? Now, you got to make sure. You, we skip, let's go play back. And I'll, uh, <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 you what? closer. You, you point, Andre. You Hold closer. On. <laughs> Stay on the swivel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So we had a man with his butt. <laughs> yeah, it was like he was going through some stuff, and right. that could—I mean, it could have went bad really, really quick. I don't know how many times. I mean, if he wanted to, he could have just like punched me in the eye. He could have like really did damage. But you know, I was able to talk, and I feel mm-hmm. like you can talk yourself out of any kind of situation if you if you know you know. If you have that background, any situation. Mm-hmm. But listen, no, I don't think so. I'm gonna go back. I disagree. But, but let me a, hold on. Okay, hold on. Let, me, let me explain the situation <laughs> now that I got out. You know, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the slot machine, right? Mm-hmm. Now, obviously, you know, you go. We're, it's, a, it's a ruckus environment. Mm-hmm. I see. Uh, I see these two young ladies talking to each other. We're just chilling, waiting on Chef, of course. 
And I lean over, I see, you know, a, 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 a guy, he's talking to vegan. I didn't see nothing wrong with the conversation, so I leaned over and I ringed back. When that, uh, I guess later on, they, it seemed like it, was he threatening you guys or was it just he was just out, off of his rocker? Off of his rocket, but we could tell that maybe conversation. Now, maybe he was just maybe he was because, just because at the, at the same time is we, we're thinking. glad that you're here, but at the same time we, <laughs> in them kind of situations we need to learn how to use our words and and, and talk okay. to him instead of and de, de, de escalate the conversation. Okay. Okay. So, let me, yeah. So, and, did, so he, did he leave, end up leaving peacefully? He, he ended up leaving peacefully, but it could have gone really bad, really fast. And I think as men, when you see women, regardless, just to say, hey, you guys okay? You know, and then we were like, no. So, <laughs> okay. now, so now, now you just brought it up. Mm -hmm. Guess what you wanted? At that moment in time, mm -hmm. you did not want the guy on his knees planting tomatoes and making pottery. You wanted a lion. You wanted somebody with a head on a Well, swivel. why can't you do both? Why can't you be a a, uh, a lion that plants tomatoes? How are you going to become a lion planting tomatoes? You can't. That's Lions nice. eat meat. That's, 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 I, I disagree. That's I, I disagree, You're I disagree vegan, Kelly. You want me to be a carnivore. I disagree, Kelly. Because that's, 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 I think that's as nine. You ain't, the lion going to have to always roar. And if you want him to be a lion, he's going to protect and provide. And... He's not gonna. You can't have it both ways. You, you can't can talk your it. way out of everything. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. You gotta have to put, one of these days. You gotta to put your hands on somebody and say, "Hey, no, okay." But you don't have to be the kind of person that will go out like always puffing your chest and beating your chest. You can be very calm and quiet. But when you know, it's like the mama bear situation. There's been plenty of times where I've been with children. I'm I'm all about peace and love. But let me tell you something. If you try to harm a child. Mama bear comes out regardless, and I will, you know, I can attack. And I've done some things and said some things that I didn't even know that was inside of me. And I feel like everybody has that, but you don't have to necessarily always have that kind of energy. But how do you nurture it? That's what I'm saying. How I want to see how if you were, say, a single mom, right? Mm -hmm. How would you nurture that aggressive masculine nature within that man? How how would you how would you nurture that? What do you like to my child? Yes, if you're raising a young son, how okay. would you nurture that that manliness, the ability to flip the switch and become a lion when it's necessary for protection in order to protect his mother, his woman, his sister, whatever? Well, I think that's where um, emotional intelligence come in because if you are a scholar of emotional intelligence, you're gonna know. When you need, like that song, when you hold them and when you need to fold them. You know what I'm saying? There's a time where you you can flight, and then there's a time where you have to fight. And right. it's like, but you have to know when. There's people that just fight all the time when they don't have to. Right, but the thing but is, in them. we have to, at some point, mm -hmm. we have to fight. Because mm -hmm. fight, you said that to gain emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is not going to teach me how to throw a jab. Right. Emotional intelligence is not going to teach me when to duck, when to teach me when to kick, bite, mm -hmm. grab a brick, um, <clears throat> put somebody in a headlock, body slam. Emotional intelligence is like, uh, oh, that's emotional I intelligence. I'm talking about I aggression. Aggression yeah. is something. How yeah. does the emotional intelligence, how does that teach you how to fight? How does that teach you about aggression? It teaches, Emotion, it teaches you how to center yourself. No, so when you ex so let me let me let me just land the plane. When you exist in that mental place, that mental place of stasis and peace and zen, but you exist within the area that is 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 chaos. You can't move in that zen space. At some point, you're going to have to protect yourself. Emotion. How does emotion, How does emotional intelligence teach somebody how to how to whoop ass? I think when people say that, I think it's a cop out. When emotional say, intelligence yes, come yes, out? yes. When people say that, because you then what you're saying is that man is that man that boy child got a roar because if he don't, he ain't gonna learn how to protect his mom, his sister, his brother. Because my mama told my brothers, if you come home and somebody beat your butt, you are gonna be in some trouble because <laughs> yeah. you better go. You going back out there and fight again? Emotional intelligence teaches you how to be peaceful. It teaches you how to not throw that punch. It teaches you how to not pull that weapon even though you have it 
Okay. But if everybody but, but, had emotional but, intelligence, but we wouldn't have, have we wouldn't have fighting. People would be able to learn how to communicate and speak and talk and tell. But what? what, what, yeah, if, what if it was a fifth, we'd all be drunk, though. But yeah. what if you? What if you? What if you decided to communicate? You communicated, and he's still that that man is still roaring at you, and the other man is bucking up at him. He's gonna have to fight. At the end of the day, he's gonna have to fight to show that man I ain't playing with you. You know, can, let me just give you an example of mm-hmm. uh, emotional intelligence. There has been so many times where a police officer will pull somebody over, I'm not going to say who, mm-hmm. and ask, hey, can I get your license and registration? Okay. Give me your license and registration. You ain't got to sit there yelling, screaming, um, you know, oh, this always happens to me, um, getting out your car, not listening. Like, And it goes, like people in authority, it's like they're doing their job, just, you know, Give them what they need and then keep it pushing. But a lot of people, they run. They're not using their most intelligence. They're just using their emotions. And it's a difference. And Like the person that want to fight you, why do they want to fight you? You know what I'm saying? Nine times out of ten, it has nothing to do with you. You know, it's something that's going on with them internally. But they don't have the foresight to say, you know what, let me deal with my inner stuff. That's what I'm saying. If everybody had it, and I understand there's going to be fools that's not going to have it, and you will have to defend yourself because you're going to be trapped in a corner. But what happens, you'll be surprised if you're up against the wall and you have to fight your way out. I'm not saying, like, sometimes that happens. You are. She is a unicorn, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> she, is the, she is the girlfriend that after her dude gets beat up or tries to talk his way out of an ass whooping and, you know, he got a black eye and a bloody nose, guess what? She's still giving him some cutty that night because he was emotionally balanced. Let me tell balanced. you something. My man, my man, my man, he's not going to be like that. To be able to defend himself? He can, do, he can defend himself. Yes, he can defend himself. But at the same time, he growing, he growing tomatoes. And I don't understand why that is such a big <laughs> thing that you can't understand. I can grow tomatoes. I'm a chef. You get what I'm saying? I grow herbs and stuff. All right. It's not that I don't understand. I think that in life... It requires a certain degree of balance. Right. And in order for me to protect, I had to learn how to protect. It doesn't just come from emotional balance. Mm-hmm. You know, you. the thing is, you said that talking it out, talking it out, okay? When you go and it's time for when you want some action, you want that man to be that silent lion in the room. Well, I wouldn't put him in a position where no, he No, 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 no. I'm talking about... And listen, I'm talking about behind closed doors. You want your man to be a lion in the bed who don't talk much. There's one thing that women don't like is them talking ass dudes when it's time to get right. Okay? Come on, man. Emotional. You want the lion, but you you also want to be peace. Chef, chef. So let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. (laughs) You're you're, you're with your family. Mm -hmm. Say y'all at a baseball game. Guys getting drunk all around you. He spills a drink on your foot and says, and you say, hey, you spilled a drink on me. And he says, you got to pay for it. And then he bucks up at you while you're in the family in that environment. Are you saying that that man has to fight at that moment? Because it's all about respect or that's what men do? Or is it about the emotional intelligence to recognize what's most important in a particular situation? I so, agree. I I agree with there needs to be an emotional intelligence. Every fight does not have to be fought out on every battlefield. Okay. I agree. So in order to answer your question, right, I'll tell you this. Guess what? My family, my lady, she already knows, and I prepared her. I said that if you ever see me look at you in a certain situation and I tell you, leave go home. And you see me look at you this way and I tell you, leave, go home. I don't want you jumping in. I don't want you trying to fight for me. Take your ass home and let me handle what I have to handle. That's one piece. Mm -hmm. Secondly, if I see, I I make what's called threat assessments. I've been shot, stabbed, I've been hurt, jumped, all kind of stuff. And what I'm saying to you is I keep my head on the swivel. Most times when I travel, you know, I carry my, you know, pistol. I'm able to carry in many states. So I make sure I'm safe. We was in Houston. I made sure everybody around me was safe. Where we go, you safe. You was in my town, put a little peep thing. Everybody was safe, you know? And I don't just look at myself. I look at the safety of those within my love periphery. 
which means that I would have to be able to go down to protect them. So at this point, if that person popping shit is actually, I really consider him a threat. Yeah. Words are not going to satisfy that person's th- thirst. And that's when I, that's when my, my, my switch flips. You get what I'm saying? But I'm not going to sit down because there's some people compa- that. You're talking more or less about the capacity to which you're able to defend yourself versus. and versus You have emotion, to have a capacity. The, but yes, you have to have the capacity but versus the emotional intelligence to be able to maneuver within that uh, thing. I believe Mike, in balance. Yeah. I Mike, believe in balance. Mike Tyson has had to learn his emotional intelligence, right? right? He had to learn that he can't beat up every single person. Even when they actually attack him on the airplanes, beating these people up ain't going to be advantageous to win. Oh, his. but he did hit that guy in the eye. <laughs> but he learned afterwards he to, he that he don't. Give him some. He, had to, he had to see Tyson's capacity for violence. And once that happened, it was respect. But Tyson exercised but, but my, emotional he he exercised emotional balance right. until there was a there was it came to a precipice a precipice where he had to show him okay I'm still Mike Tyson idiot. <laughs> and that's what happens he has to be able to act when it comes to time to act the emotional balance requires the tender mm-hmm. as well as the violent I did that show to sip the Sunday Fatherhood sip and one of the episodes was about violence and we right. spoke about the mm-hmm. perspective of violence. There was one situation where the guy was talking about, okay, you see one guy standing here, okay? One of us is standing here, the other guy's standing there, and then his hand is by your neck. What do you do? I mean, his hand is by the person's neck. If you were in that position, what would you do? Most people would say, oh, they would try to get out from being in that person's, under that person's neck. They always assume the inferior position. Right. But then he said, that's interesting. Nobody put themselves in the place of the person who was actually reaching for the neck. What if he was going to reach for that person's neck because he assaulted him? And what we do is sometimes when we go to look all and lean all the way to peace, you get rolled over, you get stepped on. Right. Well, then that's when you look at your environment. Like, are you in a crazy environment? Then, yeah, it's going to force you to have to always be on 10 Maybe it's time for you to leave that environment. But even even in the environment of a club setting, and you know this have happened. I have seen it. Somebody gets stepped on the shoe, and they don't even use emotional intelligence and say, "Oh man, my bad. I'm sorry. They want to fight." Yeah. So that's where it's like your lady with you. That's where you should use emotional intelligence. And it's like my bad. It ain't that big a deal. Over a shoe, I spill a drink. Nobody have to die over that. Mm-hmm. So that's where I tell my son to use his emotional intelligence. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Let's see. Let's see what the chat says. It says, Great Pill Podcast says, Emotional intelligence, EI, is the ability to manage both your own emotions and understand the emotions of other people around you. True. Anybody agree with that? Disagree? Absolutely. Definitely. I I think the part of and understand the emotions of people around you. Mm Mm-hmm. He's absolutely right. And not take it personal. It's, it's their a, stuff. It's not your stuff. Okay. So why are you getting all hypey about not it? Taking it personal. He's saying understanding the emotions of those around you. Right. So if you know that person around you, if you're able to clearly recognize that that person may be a threat and may have some some disdain for you, that's also something you have to have that intelligence to understand. But you don't the, know every situation. If I'm driving in traffic and someone's on my bumper, I could put on my brakes, I could cuss them out, I can flip them off, or I might have emotional intelligence and think, I don't know what's going on with this person while they're behind me. Let me just move over so they can pass me. Maybe their child is in the hospital. Maybe their mother is dying. You don't know. That's what emotional intelligence is because you don't always can control the situation. So what if some woman punches you in the face and is about to continue punching? She punched you in the face. And now she's winding up to hit you again. First of all, what nobody's getting close enough to me to punch me in the face. But I think it's based oh, on man, I, I, on, I think man. it's based on a situation. It's based on every situation. Because sometimes sometimes <laughs> she got a dancing shoe. Sometimes <laughs> you have to protect yourself yeah. at all costs. 